Hello everyone. Welcome back to Muscle Gerbil Plays Return of the Oprah Den. We have come to the end of our journey, or we're going to be approaching the end of our journey at least. Because we filled out the book. We've seen the tragedies that have befell the Oprah Den. But we still have a lot of people to determine their fates. So we're going to open up the book real quick. We're going to go to the very beginning. Because I'm going to try and look through the book a little bit. I'm going to figure out whose identity and fate I can figure out right now and start just tracing some paths. So we've got the preface. Something catches my eye on the preface. This name. Henry Evans. If I go to the crew manifest, there is a Henry Evans. The surgeon. I believe that the surgeon is the guy with the monkey. He is this man. He appears a lot, but he disappears. He got on the boat with these people. So. I might have to make a little leap in logic here. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, storm's coming. So we gotta start wrapping this up. Oh, I never went in this room. Okay. Let's go to the book. Let's go to the escape. That person met an unknown fate. Aha, Paul, do I know who the other guy was? No, I don't. I still have two... Oh no, I still have Russian people I don't know yet. Um... Darn it, why did I exit the book? Okay, so this guy right here, I'm going to go back to his memory. This guy is shot by Jackson. And the other thing that caught my eye when I was looking at it is that briefcase right next to Henry Evans. That's our briefcase. So, so the two ladies, Henry Evans and maybe this guy, got on the boat and just sailed away. I want to see where the boat actually was during this point. There's the doom. A bitter cold. Where is the escape? Uh, can I not go over? Let's just go to the end. That should show us the entire map of the voyage. So there's the escape. So where did they, did they go to the Azores? Did they sail to Africa? 
Because the preface of the book says that he is... That we're supposed to mail the book back to Morocco. So we're going to make a little leap in logic right here. Because there is an option for alive. Oh, but there's... Mm, we don't know where, where they went, though. I want to say he's alive in Africa. Which would then mean that she is also alive. If they all got off at the same place... Boom. Logic. Logic saves the day there. All right, we're about a third of the way there. All right, back to the table of contents. There was the other person on the boat. Nope, I was hoping that was like Mrs. Jackson's, or not, yeah, Mrs. Jackson's husband, but there's no other Jackson on board, so we don't know who that person is. Okay. Time to start looking for people with one triangle above their head. <laughs> There's a couple. But let's see who would be the easiest one to figure out. I'm just, I'm, was he clawed or was he, I want to say he was just clawed by a terrible beast. Because he got killed by one of the mermaids they brought aboard. All's fine, John, fit in worse spots. This guy's name is John. Hopefully there's only one John. On, there's a John Naples. Are there any other Johns? Okay, that's John Naples. How many memories does he appear in? Let's bring up the deck and try and chronologically go through what he does. So he's on board when they bring the mermaids up. He's there when they're bringing it down. He's there when that dude got crushed. And then he dies right here. Nothing really indicates what happened to him. Okay, this person appears in four memories. Let's see. Why did, why did the book just do that? Uh, I lost my place. Probably should have bookmarked it. Okay. Let's see where this guy was. Okay, he was there when the lightning struck. And then he was dead when they appeared. He was there with the mermaids. And he was in a bitter cold.
this guy. I think. I want to say he's the sur he's the surgeon's mate because he was in the room with Henry Evans when they were checking out checking out the guy from India. So that's James Wallace. How did he die? Paris and Soldiers of the Sea, Part 4. So let's go to the location of... We have to go to the Orlop deck and check out that memory and see what got him. I think the Orlop deck is the one below this one. There is going to be a lot of book usage in this episode. Just be warned. I believe it's this one. Is he one of the guys who got decapitated? Yes. He was decapitated by a beast. Alright, who's the other guy that got decapitated? Someone we don't know about. Okay. Boom tube out of there. Back to the book. So he perished when he got shot with the cannon. Um, which memory is that? Is it this one? I think it's this one. No, it's not. It's the other one. It's the guy that's lying underneath the cannon that I need to look at. Because I think I've already identified him. Right? Yes. Abraham Akbar. I'm going to say he was shot by Abraham Akbar because he technically lit the cannon. And then I'm going to say Abraham Akbar was... He was crushed by a beast. Or he was crushed by a cannon. There we go. All right, we are getting there. Slowly but surely. See if there's anybody else that has a one or a two. No, everyone's guys got tons of fuck. Tons of freaking triangles.
Hmm. Wait, oh, no, 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 we know who got him. The captain got him. By an un no, this guy got clubbed by the captain. I guess I forgot to put those details in on earlier. Okay. This is not going to be this is not going to be easy to figure all this out. Let me go back to the sketch real quick. Because where is the guy that keeps showing up? It's not this guy. He only shows up in a little bit. It was the other... This guy. He shows up a lot. So I'm going to see if I can track his movements. Of course, he's on deck when they kill Hawk Sang Lao. He's there when they attack. No, wait a minute. We know who we know who got him. I just gotta go find his his body. He is right over here, right? I think I determined who the person that was. Oh, come on, pocket watch. Don't do me like that. Yep. Who is that? That's the fourth mate, Davies. I don't know who that is, though. Could he be the gunner's mate? Because he's standing right next to the gunner. I'm going to say that's the gunner's mate. That would make sense. Right? Where even am I on the ship right now? Is that towards the midshipman quarters? I want to see who knifed him, if I've determined that person yet. Oh no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna know it from that. Don't leave with me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell Pete's mom. Uh, I'm going to need to go to like towards the very beginning of that chapter. One. I got to find the corpse. Here. And see if the guy's been stabbed yet. Easy now. You're in a bad way. This is 
No. So let's see what chapter two, or part two. Now that takes place up top. No, but I think he was already stabbed at that point. So we might have to go up top, investigate, and then see What happened? Last one. Move quick. I want to see if that guy's been stabbed yet. Nope, he is still not stabbed. Oh yeah, that's Paul Moss. We already knew that. So the guy gets stabbed in part three. It looks like. Which would be this guy? Yes. Alright, we gotta get downstairs and see what's going on. This guy stabs him. By what I think is the gunner's mate. Okay. This guy seems important. He shows up a lot. Let's see if I can track him. He was there on the Doom. He's just kind of everywhere on this ship. Uh. I might be able to figure out who he is. I'm pretty sure he's one of the Russians playing cards. Because we already figured out that guy's fate. About that guy. Show him on the map.
Yeah, he's down near the first mate in the mate quarters during that. And then he was on the little expedition. See, that's the only tag I got. Oh, 45 and 46. Let's go to the crew manifest. He's either got to be... Wait a minute. One's a topman, one's a seaman. Uh, I need the sketch now. Huh. What are what are the brothers? The Peters were seamen. And they're right here. And they're wearing the same outfit. Right? As that guy, kind of? I think I know who you are. You are the Russian seaman. Yes! Mm, three more right. And that would make sense that you would send the seamen out on the boat to go get stuff. Duh. I made that way more complicated than it needed to be. Alright, three more right. So that means you are the last Russian guy. You are Leonid Volkov. Which means, gotta go back up top real quick. Because this other body was stabbed by him. Stabbed by Leonid Volkov. Okay. I want to investigate this guy. So during the murder part three, he's over here in the first mate. Oh, but that's the... Wait, that was I looking at this guy? I don't remember how I determined he was the first mate steward. That might not be right then. Mm. Wait a minute. I think I know who you are. You're the fourth mate steward. And you're still alive. In Africa. 
Yes, a little little intuitive leap there. Because all those people on the boat made it safe and sound. All right, we're about halfway there. All right. I don't even remember this memory. Where is this person? So I must not be right about this guy, because I did that a while ago, and... I assume he's the cook. Because he said he was going to fry it up. Because the picture shows him just getting BAM. I'm going to change that to spiked, then. Or is that what I had it at? I don't, I don't remember. Darn it. Where does he appear? Where is that guy on the sketch? I don't remember even looking at him. He's up here. Man, we still have a lot of people. We don't even know who they are. We got all the Formosans. Huh. There's the glossary for a second here. Rated seaman in control of the ship's wheel and general moment to moment navigation for the helmsman. That dude's the helmsman then. He's holding on to the wheel in the sketch. disappeared in the doom. Huh. So he drowned. By a beast. He might have been one of those three people on, like, the boat in the background. Ooh, this person's in seven memories? Where? Still alive in the doom. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna start just using the sketch a little bit more.
see if I can determine. All right, midshipman, midshipman, midshipman. Huh. Am I missing a midshipman? No. What's a purser? Glossary. Oh, purser. Accounts for all cargo value and trade. Manages a small item store. Because I didn't miss any midshipmen. This guy's wearing a uniform very similar to that. Or at least he's got the, the thing. Disappeared. Was this person disappeared again? Oh, there's just there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff to keep track of. All right. Is there literally... Uh, I'm trying to see how many people I've got, like, something for. Who was the guy that got stabbed by the gunner's mate? This guy. I have a theory. Um, I have a theory about a key player in a lot of this. Okay, we got the name Pete. Brennan. Brennan. Oh, no! Get cut! <laughs> So this person knows that Brennan is nearby. Tell Pete's mother. I tried my best. I to pull him back to save him. And this guy is cupping his ear like he needs to hear something. I I really think this guy might be Brennan. Okay, which would mean that he shot this guy. Got it. Okay.
Okay, back to the sketch. Yeah, all those guys were semen. Who is this guy? Like, where was he during all this stuff? He was down there. Well, he didn't really do much. All right, we're getting we're getting some fates. We're getting people figured out. Yeah, I Okay, I have no idea who this guy is then. Was he strangled by the beast then? There's a couple of stewards, too, that I have no idea who they are. This guy shows up a lot, too. Still a lot of souls. That I gotta figure out. Fourteen? Holy crap. Let's see if I can track his movements. That's the doom. Man, this guy was involved in a lot of stuff. Bosun's store. Let's head down there. So wait, this is the bosun's store? So he's in there. So he's the bosun's mate, then, if he was in there. And he was torn apart by a, by the squid, which is what the bosun said. Right? Who I assume is the bosun. I don't think I've even confirmed him yet. I really wish there was just a button for the sketch. That's the gunner's mate. Where's the bosun? Where did he perish? I 
going to track him. All right, where we got? We got the Doom here. He goes over there. He's alive through all that. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the room. Okay. We're going to check out our our torso friend and look for the bosun not him that's the gunner's mate there he is right Okay, so nothing's going to tell me much about that one. We're going to have to go back to Abigail's memory. And that should show us what happened to him right before he ends up in that chair with an arm ripped off. Yes, he gets his arm. He gets his arm ripped off. So, I'm guessing torn apart? And he's there with his mate. Okay. Who is that person? So the squid has him. Oh, all right, yeah, so. I'm guessing the squid just took him and flung him overboard. Wait a minute, I'm forgetting someone. Once I figured out who Brennan was, because I know he's killed another person. Brennan clubbed him after he shot after he shot the uh, gunner's mate. Oh, oh, three more. Oh, yeah. All right. No, we are getting there. All right. We figured out a lot of fates this episode. We've still got a little bit more to go before we've solved the mystery of the Oberdin. We're going to keep putting these fates together. And I'll see you next time.